and we're the Y'all Show, talk with a southern accent, and we're supposed to have football season, y'all. It's supposed to be coming up pretty darn soon if the stars align. And guess what? If they do align, Lord willing, they do, and we do have some type, some type of football to watch here pretty soon and throughout the next few months, chances are, wherever you may call home, or wherever you may call home on Saturdays if you're a college football fan, you're not going to be able to go to your favorite football stadium because most of the colleges have already announced they're going to dramatically cut back attendance. That goes for the NFL fans as well. So what are we going to do? We have the perfect answer. We're going to home gate. And Allison Dayette is coming on right now from L.A., and I'm not talking about lower Alabama. I'm talking about <laughs> that other that other Los Angeles and she's on with us right now on the Y'all Show to talk about home gating. Allison, welcome into the Y'all Show. Thank you for having me. And you have been all over the place. You have been on the Today Show. You're a featured person there in Los Angeles on the, was it CBS affiliate there? On uh, KTLA, which is the CW affiliate. Oh, CW. I got the wrong W. Yes, K. K that, that station KTLA, there. KTLA, yes. We don't get that here in the South. I apologize. <laughs> But we're That's working okay. on it there. But you kind of have a really versatile business there. And your website, AllisonDayette.com, at Allison Dayette is the social media connections. Give us a little idea of your own background before we dive into home gating. Uh, well, my background comes from magazines back in New York City, where I would produce and direct and write various photo shoots and articles for a variety of magazines. And then I've worked in television for more years than I'd like to share. Uh, all great years, though, working on the Today Show, Good Morning America, The View. Out here in L.A., I work with Access Hollywood and the Kelly Clarkson Show. And as you said, KTLA, I'm their lifestyle expert. Uh, but, yeah, my job is that I kind of bring you all the tips and tricks, whether it's entertaining to gifts, to fashion, to beauty, uh, home decor, et cetera. So when it comes to what used to be tailgating, now we're we're home gating when it comes to football. That's what we're going to do. And Allison's kind enough to come on. And now that she's gone through the the doldrums of the Today Show and KTLA, she's <laughs> moved up on the ladder to the Y'all Show, and she's talking to all y'all here on this special spotlight of home gating. And I found an article. Got to give you props. You're no newcomer to this subject. You did an article several years ago, more for the NFL fans about home gating. So. I don't know if you came up with that term, but if you didn't, you should have because you had a great <laughs> article and you've got some great tips that still apply. So home gating, again, where football fans can stay home and party down here, no matter what the local colleges tell you as far as attending right. the games in, right. in person. So when it comes to home gating, what are the, some of the things that really stand out that make home gating so special? Well, first of all, as everything that is happening in the world, and we're all having smaller gatherings, I'm going to say move it outdoors if you can. If you can get, if you've got maybe a patio space or something, and you've got that big screen TV, so you can still see it outdoors. That's the best and safest way to gather all your friends, and and part of it is the decor of it. And there's so many products out there that really hone in on football. Uh, I mean, you can even find you can even find crock pots that have the design of a football. And you can go to places like Amazon to find those or places like JC Penney's and Kohl's. You can find really cool, fun, blow up kind of serving platters. The, uh, like one great place is called bigmouthinc.com and you can go on there and you can find all these different things that you could, you could float in a pool if you wanted. You can put on a big outdoor table. You can throw in some ice and keep drinks cool. Uh, and then you can even go a little DIY. Uh, there's a great machine called the Cricut, which is C-R-I-C-U-T, and you can make your own designs or you can get your own construction paper. You know, go on over to Staples or something and pick mm -hmm. up some construction paper and you can make table decor. You can wrap old cans. You can wrap mason jars and create your own kind of full on football field to cover a table. You can wrap jars or cans and create... Uh, shape. I mean, football is a pretty easy shape to cut out. Yeah. Uh, get a little green, a little white, and a little brown, and you've got yourself a field, and you've got the easy easy pieces to cut out and create that football. But easy decor, 
Uh, and then if you're looking for game, you know, if you're following specific teams, which most people are, places like Bed Bath & Beyond have a lot of those core team uh, like souvenirs, whether you're going to find glassware, shot glasses, towels, blankets, uh, even chairs and outdoor decor, you can find with a lot of your own team insignias there. Uh, and then when it comes to food, I'm going to say if we're trying to keep it safe, uh, go for everything that's kind of individual based. Like when it comes to having people over, have individual pizzas. Everyone can kind of create the, you know, choose their own toppings. And then it's like, all right, Sam, you've got your individual pizza. All right, Sophia, you've got yours. Uh, have drinks available in cans or their own jars so everyone can have their own. If you're trying to do a bit of social distancing in a party, make sure everyone kind of has their own tasks at the outdoor gathering. Someone can man all the drinks. Someone can man the barbecue. Mm. And that way nobody has to think of that they're, you know, touching everything. Uh, but I like that that mix of decor, the the choices of food and drinks. You know, keep it simple. If you're doing barbecue, everyone mm -hmm. likes their hot dogs and their burgers. Uh, maybe there's a way to do ribs. Uh, everyone loves their nachos. You can cr you can kind of do your create your own nacho platters, uh, and then you, obviously your chips and dip. That's awesome ideas. Again, we're visiting with Allison Dayette. We're talking home gating the hottest new trend perhaps here as we get ready for college football and nfl 2020 and she's based out of los angeles and our special guest here on the y'all show with john rawl and i know in your article a couple years ago you had a really big spotlight on these really neat inflatable tables they are essentially a football themed blow up table type thing you can put is that still available has things yeah, changed yeah Okay. I had mentioned them. If you go to bigmouthinc.com, uh, oh, yeah. you should be able to still find some of those really fun inflatables. Amazon is also a great place. You can also look up on target.com and find a lot of those fun inflatables that have that whole football theme to them. Yeah, because I, I feel like if you get the decor right, kind of the food and the drink just follows suit. Mm -hmm. You mentioned having friends over and giving tasks. Are there specific options when it comes to the appetizer, to the food, or to the drink that you recommend here specifically for the fall of 2020? Uh, well, I think, again, for fall of 2020, I think you got to think things that are a little more individual-based. So maybe someone is tasked with being in the drinks. I actually, as a woman, and I know my husband likes this too, there's this really cool brand called Two Chicks Cocktails. Uh, and they have everything from a new old fashioned to a vodka fizz to citrus margarita. Uh, they are my drink favorite <laughs> as we are all staying at home more often. Um, but look for like individual canned cocktails, uh, great wine selections that come in smaller versions uh, or choose your beer of choice. But again, look for things that are more individual based. So you don't have to worry about everyone going back or everyone kind of socializing over the same spot because we are still looking at social distancing for our gatherings. Uh, even when it comes to masks, you might want to start looking up a mask that has your favorite football team on it. That's a great idea. Of course, we're seeing a lot more people wear masks all over the place and more people are getting a little bit more creative with those masks. In your, <laughs> yes. in your best COVID-19 analysis, Allison, what is a safe amount of people to come over for a home gating experience? Uh, I think it really depends on how much space you have outdoors. Okay. If you've got something, I mean, I we have a pool at our house and social distancing is easy because we can have people across the pool from us. Uh, and that's an easy way where we can have like kind of one space, one table where all the food is and individual bags of chips, individual pizzas, or we can have someone man the barbecue and they put all the food on one plate and each person takes takes the time to go on their own over to the table, fill up their plate, and then go back to their designated spot. Uh, if you've got a backyard, well, it's something where you can get the kids involved with a measuring tape and start kind of measuring out at least six feet distance between lounge chairs and other chairs. And maybe even you create, if you don't have a lot of lounge chairs or so, create it make it like a big outdoor picnic you know you can even brown bag it if you want to make go that one step further you can ask everyone to kind of brown bag their meal 
show up at your place, you offer the drinks and put it all in those different inflatables and add to the de football theme decor and have different blanket setups. So everyone's socially distanced, but you can still, you're still close enough to carry on a really great conversation with your friends and family and then still see the game up on the screen. People have actually figured out ways to do projections of your TVs or movies. So you can, whether it's a big white sheet or you can find really inexpensive projectors on Amazon or Best Buy. I've even seen ways to connect your TV with a projector uh, at items even like Marshalls and TJ Maxx. Man, those are all great ideas. And this is, I, I heard you just mention this, the second time I've heard you say, take it outside. Yes. Yes, because unless you only have a few people, and as we say in our quarantine bubble of people that we have congregated with still a safe distance, they're really telling us, keep it all outside if you can. And if you're, if you're going indoors, open up all your windows. Everyone's got to wear masks, even indoors. I know it's not fun, but we do want to keep everyone safe and healthy around us. And then I'm going to say, if you don't have a big space, but you still want to see that TV, you really have to think about someone's on one couch, someone's on another, and maybe they don't stay the whole game. Maybe, maybe you get together uh, for the first half, and then everyone heads home after halftime, and you can get on the house party app and all watch the game together via the house party app and start still yelling and screaming and cheering for your team. All sounds great. As we wrap up with Allison Dayette talking home gating on the y'all show, she's got the outdoor setting. She's got the pool. Uh, what do I wear, Allison? <laughs> well, obviously, are you going to wear your team shirt? <laughs> well, I don't want to <laughs> make sure I make you mad. So I, I, I might, I better, I better find out who you're going to be rooting for. By the way, your favorite college team, do you have one? I do not have a favorite college team. Okay. Well, uh, I'm more about the entertaining aspect of okay. it and having friends and family over and having good drinks and food and having a chance to socialize during halftime. Very, very good answer. Very wise answer from Allison. <laughs> yeah. Day That's what Ed. I figured. Yeah, yeah. You've you've been doing this a while. You know how to you know how to answer these things the right politically correct way, and that certainly comes to play when you're talking about sports teams. But it is all going to be coming up pretty soon. We're going to have maybe the Pac-12 there in your neighborhood won't be having college football, but the SEC seems to be on a path to have football, ACC, Big 12 as well. And, of course, NFL games are going to likely happen. And all of these things you can have home gating. Allison Dayette, go to the website. It's right there for you to learn more about what she does, a style expert, and catch her on KTLA if you have a chance to be in Southern California. And maybe one day we'll have you back on the Y'all Show and talk about what else is going on in the world of style and, and so much more. Allison, thank you very much for coming on today's Y'all Show. Thanks so much. All right. We'll have more of the Y'all Show after this. Stay where you are.